Fellow Nigerians, Imolites, today, the 5th of November 2023, six days to the Imo governorship elections, around between 12 and 1 o'clock this afternoon, I was on my way to uh, uh, honor an invitation by the Anglican Church, the Synod, at to be Zina, in a way or not. We were approaching, we saw, you know, armed police stationed, you know, strategically in their, in their cars. So we were wondering, we said, what's going on? So as soon as we got there, we saw an APC blocking the entrance to the venue, an harsh-looking armed men. Most of them wearing black, some carrying pump action, some carrying AK 47s. So, and they stopped us, they blocked, they didn't allow us to go. There's a lot shooting in the guys sporadically. Hello, my great and wonderful people. How on a day today? I hope all of them are day well. Today, we get a lot of videos for our team. We're going to be saying one quickly the review to you concerning the things we're going to be saying if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. Just as you rightly see one from the introduction. Ha Ibisi, the Supreme Court Governor of Imo State, when Ibisi Inim Nahop Uzodima, led by this very APC administration, they do everything possible to kill anybody when Ibisi it will stand on their way if they not become governor for the second term for Imo States. And after this one, we equally get other videos when Ibisi will review to you one after the other, even for the process of this very broadcast. One thing when we say when our feet do for us, I beg help us to like this video. Because the more you like this video, the more YouTube they recommend that to people. Now their own policy now in be that very one. We don't know why. Because video like this need to reach every hand of every Nigerians. For each and every one of us to be aware of the plan ahead of the Imo State governorship election. And more when it be say will they review for this very broadcast. All right, I'll first of all leave you to hear everything from this Labour Party governorship candidate and your own experience, how it be said, they come aside to cry to every Nigerians and also entire world. Hear this very one, we'll come back for more. Fellow Nigerians, Imolites, today, the 5th of November, 2023, six days to the Imo governorship election around between 12 and 1 o'clock this afternoon, I was on my way to uh, uh, honor an invitation by the Anglican Church, the Synod, at to be in a way or not. We were approaching, we saw, you know, armed police stationed, you know, strategically in their, in their cars. So we were wondering, we said, oh, what's going on? So as soon as we got there, we saw an APC blocking the entrance to the venue, an harsh-looking armed man. Most of them wearing black, so I'm carrying pump action, I'm carrying AK 47s. So, and they stopped us, they blocked, they didn't allow us to go. There's a lot of shooting in the guys sporadically. Scaring the bikers who are leading the convoys, all of them scampered for safety. They came down, I said, Well, they can take me because I can't understand why I can't be allowed to go and worship God in Nemo State. First of all, they claimed that the governor was there. I'd say that somebody tore APC posters on the wall. So, but the person who tore it, they said no. So, why are you preventing him from getting into the church premises? So, and I had to come down. I costed one Ola, the notorious Ola of a Tiger Base fair. So many lives have been lost in Imo State. And look at what they did to the NLC president. This governor is going mad. Security officer called the DSS uh, uh, director who said he was there with the commissioner of police. I now asked to speak with him. He called me and said he wants to talk to the officer. Commissioner of police, Imo State, spoke to this Allah. Allah disobeyed him and blocked us from entry. As the shooting continued, I didn't want any life to be lost. I came out and I him. I was pointing at him. I told him that I was going to expose him to Nigerians today. And if he doesn't leave this state today, or let us this by Monday, I'll know that this government wants to annihilate us. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting my president, Bola Metribo, notice to know what is going on here. This man wants to annihilate the entire state. So he should quickly remove all the security agencies who, who, from here. They are not obeying orders. 
There's a killer squad in Ohaji Ebuema as well. They've been crying and they call him Kill and Bury. They've been crying everywhere. It's like we're in a war zone. What's going on here, for God's sake? Is this how we're going to have this election on, 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 on November 11? And I hear that the INEC officers even lied to the INEC chairman, EOs, that all the political parties agreed to move all the coalition from world to, to, to local government. We didn't even have a meeting to discuss that. So you see what's going on. There's a trouble here. If you want to declare war on Imolites, tell us the Imolites are ready to defend themselves. Tell us, please, what's going on here? Enough is enough. Are we now in a banana republic that even officers don't obey police commissioners? They don't listen to do anything. No rule of law in Imo State any longer. So for the next four years, this place will be a wasteland. Already, places have been, mortuaries are filled with corpses. Tiger Bay, people drop like flies. And that's where this Allah is. He must leave this state to the commissioner immediately. And I next time I should put on notice. This, no collation should be done outside the World Collection Center. The door of my, my leg stammer is shattered. A bullet hit it. Straight bullet hit it. We are lucky it was an armored vehicle. My, one of my escort vehicles. Still, I wouldn't hit it. It's here for you to go and see it after here. This is what we are going through in Imo State. People don't go home any longer. We have military, we have DSS, we have civil defense. So, if we cannot be protected by all these men, let us protect ourselves for God's sake. We have our fundamental human right to life. We have that human right to life. It's our right and to protect ourselves. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe see all of you don't hear everything when you see this senator talk for this very video. We know that no will ever do anything concerning this matter. Why? Because now APC, now the day on board. This governor, Hopu Zodima, this Supreme Court governor, what they say, if they use all these policemen and women, they do anything when they say they like so, now under APC administration. And all of us, they are aware of the story when APC he bring this man on board. And ever since when APC he take enter that position, everything when APC he they do against the Imolites. Whether they like him or not, we will see the talk our own come up for his side. I bet do us a favor, share this video so that it will reach every one of us. Anyway, when APC will they all around the world. Now, only a few days now in remain for this governorship election. Now, waiting that they demonstrate now it be that very one so that everybody will they run, enter inside their own hiding place for them to do what they plan to carry out for this election. All right, I'll leave you to share your own opinion with us in the comment section, even as I leave you to watch this other video. And this video, another video, when you be say one Yoruba man, a politician, where no politician, take come outside to cry out. Now, Yoruba man, for that matter, say the way when you be say, I'm a bola tenibute, they go for this very administration. Now, something when you be say, you know, will give the light of the day to any Nigerian. And I won't make you hear everything when you be say, this man talk for this interview. I will come back for more. I'll be honest with you, both of us are Yoruba men. That it's beginning to seem that our people are they're going to get best, the best of the cherries. And if you want me to tell you what, I can tell you the things we've gotten already and the things they are likely to, go, to get. What are those? Come on, man. We're in charge of customs. We're in charge of police. We're in charge of army. We're in charge of CBN. We're in charge of IRS. We're in charge of taxation. We're in charge of um, appropriation. She have we become such a people that we can only be fair when we're talking about so, other so people? Are, so you, I am beginning yeah. to see a pattern that we're getting, all of the cream is coming to us. And, and what, we will, what we will not accept from Buhari, who was even fairer to us than he was to his people, we must be brave enough to say this is not the right way to go even for us. We're not going to suddenly become a parochial people who insists that all of the things in the country, Yoruba people are the Listen, Sheo. Does it not prick your soul that you are putting 10 in one place, 9 in one place, 7 in one place, 5 in one place, and you are giving the Southeast Igbos 5? 
And I can tell you for free, Shehu, there is no mental capacity, validation, education, authentication that you are looking for in the... All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say all of you don't hear this very honest Yoruba man. This man make us to understand, say, at least we still get honest people, even though, see, it be like, say, now they're supposed to they enjoy the dividend. He come outside to cry, to reveal all the secrets. See, you're not supposed to be like that. We know they against any tribe, but one thing when you be saying, if they bother us, not pass be seen. The thing when you be saying that they post to us as Nigerians and also Nigeria, they always they tell us, say, they want unity, they want equity, and they want justice because they believe, see, we all now one Nigeria. Now, so we want to do the one Nigeria. Eh? When it be say full animal come, it will exclude other ethnicity. Yoruba man will come, it will exclude other ethnicity. Now, this one be the one Nigeria when it be say it will move this nation forward. When it be say it will give room for peace and harmony. To strive for this nation when it will allow development within ethnicity now this one will be said that they do so you see we always they talk not be by force for all of us to work out if we now understand say all that ethnic group no we feel move with una why una no kukuma give them the room for them to live on their own in as much as they don't already they make demand for freedom they know they by force their self on you people. They believe on their selves. They also believe see, they will do the things by their selves. Why would I not give them the, that freedom for them to exist on their own independently? This one are the question when they be say with the ask. In as much as they know they useful for una and una government. So why keeping them? All right, I will leave you to share your own opinion with us for the comment session, even as we draw the line of this very broadcast here. We'll see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.